This is the end of me. This is the end of me. Your only presence, living. guys my viewers thank you and welcome again to another episode i'm grateful that you stopped around and to see what we are doing thank you you're much welcome i love you all i greet you in the name of our lord jesus i'm excited super excited blessed of the lord this evening i'm happy around and i'm happy to be with you tonight for these few minutes as you pass by i know you're gonna be blessed you're gonna learn something and the lord gonna bless you before we go so far right now you can just click the like, you know, you can just share the video, host the party, you know, and uh, let many people hear this. we we'll be doing a simple breakdown of another beautiful uh, form of promotion you can use in your worship sessions, maybe in your freestyles and in your composition of songs. And uh, of course, it's going to bless your heart. And uh, it's one of, so uh, uh, before we do anything else, I'm simply going to break the song I was just singing. It is a beautiful song, but, and uh, I just did the Michael Smith version, and uh, it's a simple song, and it's a beautiful song. It just requires you to know how to do it, how to play it, and you're going to flow, I know. Right now, the song I just did is the, the, the Air I Breathe, and uh, it's just a beautiful song, you know, and I'll just be doing a breakdown of the chords, and now you can play it, and of course today, I don't know. Kidi seems favored, you know, uh, it's like uh, even today uh, I just worked on Kidi, but I'll still break it in other keys, at least two or, or so, maybe in the key of C and at least one flat, and uh, uh, at least you'll have something to learn for tonight. And I'll still be doing a breakdown of another, uh, uh, another song, but this song, I'll, I'll just use it to show you a beautiful progression you can use when playing. Uh, when playing music, you need full music, maybe uh, kind of a hip hop touch or so, and it will be beautiful. But now let's just go straight forward to the air I breathe. Keep, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned. Uh, don't lose focus. Don't disconnect. I love you.
And as you watch, this is not just an exposition. This is not just a show. It is also a ministration. Through the playing of this music and as I demonstrate, this is just a contact between me and you. And uh, the power of God that is alive in me will still flow in your life. So if anybody watching me, suffering, having any problem, whatever problem you have, Jesus can address it as you look. Yeah, just as you watch the video, that disease uh, is going to get healed right now. That financial situation, that financial situation, the power of God will touch you wherever you are. It's not just about piano, it is about ministry. So through this music, let the power of God touch you. Thank you guys, welcome, let's break down the song. There I breathe in the key of D. And, uh, oh yes, we're gonna... Of course, I'll be, use, uh, I'll be using the grand piano voice. Still my keyboard, I'm still using my simple keyboard, PSR A750, as we used last time. But now, provided you learn, that's all that matters. So as I said, I'll be doing this video in the key of D, and I'll really quickly show you how to play the air I breathe. It's progressing. Oh, no, I, I said I'll be playing the key of D. If you check on my former video, I explained the concept of keys, what is a key, uh, how do you know this key and that key. You can just check the former video and uh, on Facebook Live, and the Lord will bless you. So basically, the air I breathe by Michael Smith and so it's the key of D and as I showed you last time this is the key of D I'll break it in the key of D the key of C and maybe another flat key or something so that we at least three times so for, for better learning and better viewing and this is this is the key number you just begin this is the air I breathe this is the air I breathe I'm keeping it simple. Your holy presence living in me. Let's just look at what I just did. What I just did, I just began in the key of D. That is number one. So that song is simply progressing from number one. So in the key of D, this the key of D simply is our number one. So this this is it. This is the number one. So this is it. And this is how we do it. This is the air. So basically it's like you are just bumping into number four the moment the song begins. This is the air. I breathe. Our number four will be G. So we are playing it back to one. This is the air. I breathe. G or number four, back to one, that's G. Then your whole presence living in me. That applies for all the stanza, including this is this is the my daily bread. So basically we say this will be going from one, you just maintain. This is here, I breathe right from four. I'm keeping it simple, guys. This is the air I breathe. Four to five, in home to six, present to three, living to six in me. So we are basically moving from one to four to one. So when we begin your holy presence, that part of your holy presence, we just go to five. That is A. Your holy to six presence. To three. So this is how I'm doing my three. Uh, okay, basically in the key of D, three should be our, our F sharp. Yeah, should be F sharp. That is G flat minor. Okay, F sharp minor. That is G flat minor. So 
the basic formation from the root position is this is number three but now i'm using an inversion to give it that high touch that high feeling you see to 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 high voicing so i don't want it to be just that presence in your home your holy presence i just want it to be you are you are holy present it's a kind of bridges into four living in me so it's basically this three we are i'm just doing the f sharp minor is our three f sharp minor is our three this is the inversion yeah this is just an inversion of the same and i'm staying on the major scale guys i'm trying as much as possible not to add anything but to give it that professional touch that beautiful touch i'm just uh I, i'm kind of suspending you see i'm just okay that is meaning if you are in the key of g if we are playing the key of g which is our four we could suspend fourth sorry guys yeah but now I'm suspending two. So one, two, suspending second of key G. So that it gives that feeling. You see, there's that feel, there's that a feel. It, it removes the flatness of the basic chord. Get that it gives this kind of a, yeah, the blue scale feel. That's what I'm saying now. The blue scale feeling, you know. G. Da, 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 da. There is that professional touch, kind of. That's the simple thing I'm playing. So basically, let me play as you watch now. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. the basic formation guys so the from six to five to six to three and let's prefer you for six five That's simply what I'm talking about. So you need to just maintain it simple to keep the song flowing. So right now, I know you are already learning. Probably I can just extend. I'm sorry for the kind of background noise. You see it's kind of raining here. And uh, we, we are not going to stop, you know. We just continue. But we believe it will still be clear for you. So what I'm simply saying is, eh, I want to break the same in the key of the key of C. So when you're talking of a key of C, we are simply meaning let the key of C be our number one. Let C be our door. 
let C be our door. So this is basically the key of C. So we play C. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. That's the key of C. I can just break it briefly for you in the key of C. So that means one, our one is C. Our four will be F, F major of course. Our five gonna be G. This time, in the key of C, G is becoming number five. In the key of D, it was number four. And our six gonna be A minor. A major was number five in the key of D, but A minor is now number six in the key of C. So what will I do? I'll just break it for you. I know you can just post the video in the future. When, if I, you feel I'm so fast, you can just stop by next time when the video is when the, the live broadcast is over just post the video and take a keen look a close look at what we are doing here so this is the this is the I your holy is a basic song now i'll not really explain much in the key of c now that you understand the progression it is still moving with the same chords from four to one to five to six to three that is the, still the same progression so you can just follow the procedure practice in the key of c until you can do it and finally maybe i can break it in maybe in a flat uh, let me try the flash should i try okay let, let me just lower it flat yeah so this is the end sorry guys hey <laughs> that key is too high for me but i'll try this is the end i bring <laughs> that's so high man this is the end i bring I just messed up, but I'm sorry. Anyway, let's just do it again. You're holy present, living in me. This is my day. Basically, that's the song in the key of B flat, but I can just show you a little bit in the key of B flat. So, the, when you're meaning the key of B flat, we simply mean let B flat be our do as usual. So, the B flat basic chord, so this this the B flat, no, this is a B flat scale, major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do, do, te, la, so, mi, le, do. This is our one, one. 
Okay, I'll just maintain simple. B flat, that's number one. That chord. But from the root position, that will be flat. From the root position. Yeah, whatever I'm playing on the right is what I'm playing on the left. So four from the root position. Now, number four now. That is number one. Okay, let me just do the scale. Number one. That is one in the B flat. Our two gonna be C minor. That our two, C minor. That our two. That the two in C minor. Then D minor gonna be our three. So the three is B minor. We are in the key of B flat. And now four is D is E flat minor or the D sharp minor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The D sharp or the E flat. You see, number four is always a major, as we say. It. So that's number four. That's the four. Four is our E flat. Then five is gonna be F. F. And six is our A minor. Sorry, G minor. Is our six is G minor. So basically, guys. Uh, th that that is a simple progression. So now you at least you understand. So when you want to play the one, you can just do the one in the key of B flat. That the one and the two and the three and the four and the five and the six. Those are the basic, the most basic chords, the most used chords in any major scale. So the one, two, three up to six that are the most used. So basically that is. Enough of that, guys. Much better, better than what I just did. Okay, guys. I just promised a simple progression, a simple video for tonight. I promised a simple, simple video, and I'm gonna show you something, a nice, cool, and a, a nice and a cool move you can do in most of your songs. This one, I'll be driving it from the song uh, "Heaven Rocks," that is by Frank Edwards and Mayo. Heaven Rocks. So. It will just be running all the way from six to one to five to two. So you can do two or four, but I recommend to to give the, the, that dull voicing. So basically, let me do it for you as you watch. It's a simple progression, and I will show you. I will be doing it in the key of C. So I'll be just be doing one from six to one to five. To two, so I'm keeping it on the root positions only. In a nice progression. When I do it for you with a beat, let me just look for a simple keyboard style. You're gonna love it. Uh, let me do the hip hop, you know. Let me do it the hip hop style because that song is hip hop. Yo.
guys, what I was simply doing, wow, that is a nice progression. You can just use it in most of your progressions. It's a common progression in many songs, of course. We may not be able to do all the songs right now. But Five, two. Some may decide not to use the two and use the four. The four sounds amazing, you know. One, six, one. Six, one, I feel like composing. I feel like doing some music right now. I feel like doing something now. You know, it's already provoking the reaction. You know, the reaction of the music inside me, and uh, it's amazing. Whenever good music is played, something good comes out. And right now, it's not all about playing. It's also about ministry. So I'm just showing you some simple moves you can use to play your freestyle when you're composing some songs. And right now, if you, even if you want to use that one to compose, it's very easy to put in words in such a progression, attach words, and it becomes a song. You know, songs are not something complicated. As long as the gift is in you, it just flows. It's just like a revelation to a minister of the word. It is just like money to a financial vacuum, by the way, you know. I, I believe I just said that anyway. <laughs> so these things flow. For your glory, I worship your name. For your glory, I will do anything for the world to know you. trapped you know and uh, it provokes it provokes ministration by the holy ghost and it provokes creativity maybe i can show you the same progression in another key rest time round maybe i can do it in the key of you see i just did b flat i just did d uh, we d. maybe i can show you in the key of let's do it a flat yeah that's the g sharp okay key of that is the key of a flat and therefore we are moving from f sharp sorry f minor is our six one is our g sharp and five is our d sharp and of course four is c sharp maybe i can just show you a little bit in the key of f sharp because i know many people articulate with f sharp for the sake of the f sharp guys you see you're also amazing people every Everyone begins somewhere. Learning is a process. No one is perfect. We all learn every day. I can just do the six. So the six here, uh, six in D sharp. Sorry, in F sharp, six is gonna be D sharp. D sharp minor, of course. Yeah, D sharp minor. One is F sharp. I'm using inversions. Okay, let me keep it in the main. Worship. You deserve a life. You deserve 
just creating music from in within me. When the word of God is full in you, you just sing the word. It will just become music. So that, guys, basically, that was a simple demonstration. And maybe finally, uh, I can just show you a, 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 a smart voice combination. And uh, somebody, was, somebody asked me a question. Sometimes I just want to play the guitar and the keyboard and it sounds good, you know. Right now, if you want to play the acoustic guitar and the keyboard and sound good, right now I, I will just use some, I'm just using some nylon guitar right now. Let me... That's the nylon guitar. And somebody was like, when I play, you see, you don't strum like you strum in the guitar. You see, in the guitar flat, you just strum, pra, pra. but now if you strum in the keyboard, it will not really sound good. So you need to do some arpeggio kind of stuff, use some fingering stuff, so that you, find, you sound a little bit classical. And maybe I'm going to do the same progression. Let, let me go back to my key. The key of maybe, yeah, A flat. And I'm going to show. This how you guitar in the keyboard. You don't just do the same chords. You see, it will just sound ridiculous. You see, it sounds weird. But when you, you when you play around with your fingers like that, yeah, the right the you, it's just a matter of balancing the two. When the right is on, the left is off. The left is on, the right is off. So you just play around with your fingers. So as a practice, I will just tell you to keep on practicing until you can master it. It's not one, uh, just a one day thing. I'm also learning more and more to do fingering styles. But basically you can just do the same thing, the six, one, five, four. Okay, sorry. Already you can feel it. It's really happening. So let me just be consistent for your sake. Oh, okay, yeah man, all right. All right, we do it. In whatever key you want to do it, even in the key of C, sound good in the acoustic in the keyboard acoustic voices keep it real close that that you are your right hand is here you see it the sounds it does it look like a guitar you see a guitar is progressive you don't really hear a sharp voice at the same uh, sorry a sharp sound the same time a dull one like, it doesn't sound good but you keep it real close so there are so many keys you can do it in of course all the tough you can do it so thank you guys for staying around and watching Thank you for staying around and watching tonight's episode. I hope you're blessed. It's my faith that the Lord has ministered to you as well. It is as simple as simple class as it is. Take note of this. If you want to be a good keyboardist, no, we are talking as keyboardists. If you want to be a good keyboardist, just like any, any keyboardist dream is to become good, is to become a pro. There is no pro overnight. You see, you cannot be a pro overnight. You just need to be consistent. Do that little thing you can do. Do it daily. Do it regularly as you can. I know many of us, we have, uh, like myself, I don't regularly stay around the keyboard because sometimes I'm busy, maybe working, and there is no piano around to go practice. At least don't let a week go by without you finding some time and doing something. So keep practicing, keep practicing. It's all about practice. And now, the second secret is this. If you, you can be an effective keyboardist, yes, very effective in playing, very smart in playing, very sharp and very, artic very articulate with the keys, but not impactful. Practice is to make us excellent. Practice is for excellence. But now maintaining the presence of God is for impact. You can play this keyboard and the presence of God touches people. You can just play by the administration of the keyboard and God's presence is all over. So it's not all about playing because everyone, there are so many players in the world, so many. 
So many players who are even better than I 100 times, they can just play it real good. But not every player that can minister. So the Davidic kind of a minister is a minister carrying God. You need to maintain the presence of God in your life. And maintaining the presence of God in your life doesn't mean it is escaping anyway. It, is simply mean, it is simply means maintaining the discipline of practicing the presence. Yes, the Lord lives in you, but His presence, ah, you practice it by fellowship. So I love you guys. You are blessed. Stay tuned always. Go to the YouTube right now. Click the subscribe button. Click the bell right? and the like. And right now on Facebook, share the video. Let it go viral. And uh, the Lord will bless you. I love you guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll be doing the Psalm 7, you know. Next episode, next week. We'll be doing some real, real good 7. I'm just really to do some freestyle. Keep comments coming. Any question you have. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.